Welcome everybody, thank you guys so much for coming to date for our project proposal. We're going to be presenting about customer targeting and the ways that it benefits IBK and it will in the near future and the future to come. Now, to go ahead and do this we're going to be speaking about a lot of uh, different points that we want to go ahead and point across. One of the main points we're going to talk about is the executive overview, which I will speak to you in a couple of seconds about. The situational analysis, which we're going to go into for Christian Perez to speak to you about. The competitive analysis, which Chris will also speak about as well. The recommendation and rationale that it takes for this customer targeting project to take place. And what we recommend to you, which will be spoken to you about by Matthew LaRuvia, as well as the reasons for approval. Now, to close it all off, we're going to speak about the cost and benefits and the several different um, positives that come with this implementation that we'll speak to you about momentarily. And lastly, we will talk about the implementation and how long it takes for the entire project to take place. Now, we know um, a lot about IDK. We've been in this uh, as project leads here for a while in the IT department. So the main things that we want to go ahead that we've seen in the company that it needs uh, in regards to its customers is the way that we target them. So with the way that we're going to do this is by developing an innovative way to, to just target the customers through their data, through data analysis, which we're going to go ahead and incur through a program that we uh, successfully found called Tableau Online. Now, through Tableau Online, we'll be able to go ahead and infer relationships of all customers, which, will be ba which can also be based on the data that we already have in our databases. So there wouldn't be much of a need to implement uh, inner data, which we already have, and there, we're saving ourselves some trouble there. Now, this is what IBK needs, but what we're gonna, what Tableau Cloud provides, and a customer targeting approach would be actually um, implementing, would be seeing the visual reports that come from this product, not just seeing a bunch of paragraphs or a bunch of data that doesn't make sense. It's easy in the eyes, it's visual reports that anybody can have and come across. Um, we're also gonna speak to you about the ease of the usability that comes with this product, as well as the security that's also incurred in, uh, through the cloud. And lastly, the low cost that it costs uh, to actually implement this product. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along to Christian Perez so he can speak to you more about the situation and the analysis that we're gonna go through uh, with our competitors and how we come across um, above them. Hi, I'm Christian Perez and I'll be doing situational analysis. The reason IBK needs to implement Tableau Cloud is because of customer satisfaction, the main reason any financial institution survives. IBK will be able to develop social network understanding of customers by doing so, we'll be able to target customers and develop products specific toward their needs. Offering business-to-business -business interactions is another benefit that will be provided by the Tableau Cloud. Business-to-business -business interactions are something that IBK has not done before, so this will give us uh, entrance into a new field. Competitive analysis. When looking at the financial market, many of our competitors, traditional banks, are already using systems such as Tableau Cloud to compete in the market. This would be a competing factor that would put IBK at the top with other businesses like Apple and PayPal, which are already doing above and beyond uh, in their analysis. Now I'm going to be passing it on to Matthew LaRubio, who will be speaking about rationale and recommendations. Thank you, Christian. Our proposal is Tableau Online. Tableau is a platform that will allow IBK to create customer visualization maps and beyond. Having Tableau Online will be less expensive than ha housing Tableau at IBK. IBK users will be able to view and edit dashboards on any browser and any device, whether at the office, at home, or on the road. Tableau has an excellent reputation amongst its data analysts and users. The data can connect to a variety of sources, and then the data can then be filtered and represent an impactful and meaningful representation. Tableau is 
only limited to the number of licenses purchased. Therefore, only those with a purchase license can access the Tableau reports. In the future, if IBK business rises or, sh or, or, or shrinks, we can add or subtract those licenses as needed. Now I'm gonna pass it off to Jennifer to talk about the cost-benefit analysis. Thank you, Matthew, for that kind introduction. I'd like to talk to you today about our cost-benefit analysis. Please keep in mind that these, estimate, these numbers are estimates, and so, okay, I'll go into the analysis. So for our total estimated benefits, we came up with the number 750,000, which comes due to an increased productivity of our business analysts, as well as changing our report systems to the Tableau online system. Our estimated costs are sit at 17,000 a year based on a 30 user license as well as the one desktop license that we must purchase in order to edit and create reports. Our ROI, based on these two numbers, comes out to 782%, uh, percent, and this is um, a key reason as to why Tableau should be chosen, because even if we don't get a 100% benefit off of this program, we are still likely to come out with a positive ROI. Going on to our alternatives analysis, in our search for a great product to um, do our business intelligence, we discovered Node Excel, um, which is a plugin for Excel that um, analyzes social media and that is why we had to reject it because it did not do multiple sources such as IPK's databases. We also came across um, Alterx which is a well-known business intelligence tool. The only problem is the user cost is 4000 per license which to us is an extreme <laughs> extreme different difference towards a Tableau. So our implementation plan for Tableau would follow this structure. Um, so first we would pu purchase the Tableau licenses, then we would configure the security and settings of Tableau through Tableau Desktop and Tableau Online. Then we would uh, connect Tableau Online with our desktop uh, with our databases, data warehouses, and cubes, then um, we would create reports through our desktop license to allow our users to understand our customer networking maps. Finally, we would deploy the reports and continually improve and introduce new reports as needed. So we would like to thank you for considering our proposal for customer targeting through Tableau Online. Thank you again and have a nice day.